Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. How are you? Uh, happy equinox, happy new moon, happy breakthroughs into new energy, happy journeys. This all change. Um, and I just want to kind of speak to the, there's some complex, soft, deep soul energies kicking around. So I've pulled a few cards just to see what story wants to emerge. And I'll, I'll whiz through these cards. So the first card out um, is Potential Gateway. And that's what I'm tapping into. There's an opening up of something that's going to reveal a much deeper expression of self as soul, soul as self. So we're birthing a uh, new light, old light in new ways, but it's a deeper expression, which is going to well, again, it depends on you are where you are on your journey, but that could trigger some ego that could trigger what others will think of me if I say this thing or do this thing. Again, it's that catalytic breakthrough energy of what if I step over this threshold so it's full isn't it? it's full energy okay so that's coming out with this that's 16 so 16 is tower energy um And there's a lot of child energy kicking around and I just kind of am gazing at this little one here and wondering how she is being held in her deep inner truth. I'm wondering what is guiding her and guarding her and protecting her as she explores her light. So this is speaking to the rebirth or the birth of the divine solar child. And again, here we have this gateway opening up gateways opening up yeah it does feel feels beautifully dark and deep right in the deep forest of the self what is down there what is down there okay so if we're talking to vitality we're talking to belly prana chi Creativity, Kundalini, passion, fire. And there's a question in there about how we speak to those things if maybe we're feeling tired or sleepy or unmotivated. And do we need to unlock something in order to release trapped vitality? Mm. Laughter is a great energy. First of all, it's very infectious. But secondly, what it does, it literally pumps the body. <laughs> so it pumps right down as we laugh a good belly laugh can really release trapped energy in the gut in the belly in the sacral and um, can free up the solar plexus and the heart and just relax the body so during these big times of evolution and change Stay in touch with your laughter is what I get from this. Look at these little ones. <laughs> so the energy feels preparatory. It's like, but take your time. There's a lot of dynamic change and take your time.
So as these changes take effect, they are going to hit all the touch points of, are you worth your difference? Can you stand in the light of your difference? Can you live through your sensitivity? So I'm seeing an awful lot of, it's like raw sensitivity coming out in the collective. It's softer and it's deeper. And how do we stand in that expression? How do we stand in that level of vulnerability? Okay, so there's the worthiness stuff in there. And how do we celebrate difference? I've been going on about celebrating difference for years now. And that for me, that's a world changer. If we can come into, oh, right, okay. I'm being reminded that one of my early thoughts this morning was to do a reading about how do we hold space for another to be unique? Because there's some beautiful, tension of opposites in there, because that can trigger jealousy and envy, that can trigger compete, compare. So as the pendulum swings one way, so too must it swing the other so that we can reconcile that polarity and find our place on that pole of extremes. How do we celebrate difference? Welcome Aries, happy birthday. The adventure is about to begin. <laughs> but look how feminine this card is. It's like she's resting in a shell where you can hear every movement. <laughs> and she's not really taking much action. She's just letting all the movement, all the sound permeate. Getting ready, she's getting ready. It also speaks to water and the deep water. And there's a lot of deep water around. It's beautiful energy. Okay, so those cards are from Nature's Whispers. And then I pulled some cards from Soulful Woman. I don't really use these two decks, but they were singing today. And here's the depth. So there's going to be a, there is, we're in it. It's such a beautiful, deep soul opening, soul contact, learning to speak, or sing in the song, in the key of soul. So it's the soul singing us home, soul bonding. Living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. So that's ego out of the way. Receptive, just receptive. Water, moon, <laughs> receptive. Okay. And here's the uprise, here's the upsurge of that inner well. And that could be suppressed emotions, that could be deeper expressions of love, that can be heart's wishes hidden for lifetimes. I have an inner wellspring of love that luxuriously overflows with abundance, it's the well of abundance. And it's within us all. I'm gonna hold these up together. So all of this water is gonna guide us towards body work. And yes, but what does that feel like in the body? And in that movement, we move away from the reasoning intellectual mind 
that wants to think its way out of feeling the intellectual mind cannot process sensory perception it can only reason with it and make it logical but we're transcending that and so there will be a letting go of that and maybe a little wobble of but I don't understand it and that's okay just let it flow through let the body take her the body has its natural intelligence the body knows what to do my health is my life the temple of my experience and the greatest of my blessings I embrace my body I honor and embrace all of my body I am receptive to its specific needs So it's almost like the coming home is like a grounding back down into the physical, into the body, sensory perception, feelings and emotions, feelings, gut, here, now, emotions, heart, past. Okay, so there's going to be lots of energy moving around. Um, and I want to go to my shaman deck, just cards. Well, it doesn't get more watery and feminine than that, does it? This is the, oh, it's got it's just gorgeous energy. I'm loving this energy today. Um, lovely. This is the, dancing in the light of your hidden self. Revelations. Revelations, will you reveal yourself? Okay, what else? That one's shy. It's a few. Oh, kiddo, okay. Okay, Aries is in the house. There is a ton of astrology. I'm not touching it. There are some really good astrologers out there. Um, yeah, still a ton of movement. So we're waking up the Aries, fire, passion, belly, kundalini, vitality. So after this, what feels like a long period of just mulching down <laughs> into compost. Now the seeds are beginning to sprout and we take our time because I want to bring Pluto in here. Um, so Pluto moves into Aquarius um, the day after tomorrow. And it will retrograde back into Cap and then move back into Aquarius and will stay there for about 20 years. Pluto is a generational planet. So what we're building, we're building for sustainability, for long term, steady growth for the next generation. We're building for the next generation. So what kind of space do you want to leave for the next generation? What gifts do you want to seed? that will blossom for the next generation. Will you go through the gateway and 
light your fire is the challenge. And that's going to feel some kind of way. <laughs> Fire, mind, fast, change, dynamic. So if we imagine I'm bringing in the temperance card here. So the temperance has to kind of steady the pendulum swing. Okay. Steady it. And taming the wind with these two might literally be hold your tongue. It might literally be that. We've got Mars changing sign as well. Taming the wind might be acting in haste. And so if we are learning to harness new energies, then taking immediate action it's going to be sometimes great and sometimes will trip you up. And again, you've got to learn. We've got to learn this kind of receptivity and what a soft energy to bring into the adventure. Mm. Whose authority is what I get immediately with this card? Whose authority? I kind of want to do that. <laughs> it's, it's slightly mischievous. But whose authority? Karmic authority or Dharma? Are you lighting your own path? Or are you creating something you think is new from old karma? So this is the eruption of the shadow. This is the remaking of the soul's expression in the world. Freedom, personal authority, Libra, justice. And for, for growth, there is nearly always a sacrifice, and it might be as simple as the sacrifice of an old belief. It might be the sacrifice of pride, ego, vanity, because this fool energy, you know, the fool is, the fool has been through war. <laughs> the fool has walked through battlefields and stayed in its truth. It is battle weary, the fool, and still smiling and still on the adventure. And it's felt it all. And, and everything we feel sloughs off that egoic self importance. And once that's dissolved, we're just this expression of light and joy. So I think last month was it when I was sensing there's going to be a deep soul shift the plutonian uh, rise this is all speaking to to what might get triggered touched lighting the touch paper on what hasn't yet been purified emotions that haven't yet been processed and after the sacrifice comes reaping Okay, so harvest. Yeah, and be open to the concept of letting go of the paradigm of hard work because the, the corn might just land in your lap out of nowhere and you've done nothing for it and that's going to trigger your self-worth and do I deserve this? Do you remember I've been saying, what if it all lands at once? Well... Gifts come in many, many different forms. So just be open. Be open. Yeah, what if the universe wants to give to you? What if the field just wants to drop things in your lap? But you haven't done anything for it.
Beautiful. What's the... Uh... Oh, wow, well, well, well. Okay. Because you're loved. Divine solar child, because you're loved and supported. And because you know you are held. And that sometimes it isn't about you, it's much bigger. It's much, much bigger. And when it's much, much bigger, when we tune into our higher voice, then we can bring something really pure through. It's an, it's an ocean, it's oceans deep, this energy, which tells me there's going to be a lot of hidden material coming up, not just from this lifetime. A lot of hidden material coming up. Notice where your mind goes when I say that. Does it go to wounding and trauma? Does it go to gold? Gifts. Unfettered joy. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to wrap this up um, with an abundance card. abundance cards <laughs> ay, ay, ay. counting blessings many of which are hidden in plain sight Fill me with gratitude, it's beautiful. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Each person's road to the inner self, Lord. Each person's road to their inner divinity is extraordinary and personal, embrace difference. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what is needed. Mm, listening. Okay, people, that's it. And I have a big announcement. Um, on Wednesday, no, on Thursday, the 23rd of March, as Pluto ingresses into Aquarius, I will be releasing a very exciting video um, and birthing something new. So do tune in for that. Um, yeah, that's big announcement. So I'll be making a collaborative video um, with a fellow mystic tomorrow and that will get uploaded on Thursday. So keep them peeled. And uh, when you watch the video, just, shower it with good luck <laughs> so i'm in this and i'm feeling nervous and excited in equal measure i'm all fire and water <laughs> okay that's it um i love you guys i'll see you soon take care bye bye